Hey, what's up everyone? Glock9 here and welcome back to Farmer Glock. It is the morning of day 24. Before we head out, let's go ahead and spend these uh, two skill points that I have. I'm going to go into Lucky Looter Level 1 because we are going out exploring and looting today in search for the Crucible. So maybe that'll help us out. Probably not, but maybe. And the other one, I'm going to go into Mother Load Level 2. Alright, let's roll. We are headed to the south. So south of Trader Joel's town, there's this little town, and there's a main road heading south of that. And usually, these small little towns tend to separate two larger towns. It's not always the case, but usually it is. So we're going to head south of that small town and see what's down there. We're looking for a working stiff tools store would be nice, because those would, you would think, tend to have a crucible. Passing gases, maybe. Might have a crucible. So let's just go exploring and hopefully find one, because being able to craft steel is definitely going to take our base to the next level. Well, seems like a good place to start. Big old passing gas. Come get some, lady. Oh, you got ups, and now you're down. All right. Well, I was right. Got a town here, uh, south of that smaller town. I don't know how big it is yet, because I just pulled in, saw this passing gas, and figured this was the perfect first place to raid, so let's do that. And then we'll go explore the rest of the town and see what else we got down here. I'm good on those plastic parts. I'm going to skip most of the crafting items today. You know, obviously ammo we're always going to take. And uh, mainly after brass, we're always going to take lead. But things like plastic parts, electrical parts, mechanical parts. I will take this engine, as a matter of fact. Got a plastic part there. I'll dump it. Scrap the paintbrush. That'll give us wood, right? Yep, one piece of wood. <laughs> Whatever. We already have wood, so it doesn't matter. I will take the nitrate powder. Use that for both gunpowder and farm plots. I'm going to put that jar back. I brought a whole stack of glass jars because I was going to see if we can find a water supply and fill those up with murky water. So we'll keep an eye out for that. Here we go. Tuna, got to scrap it. Oh, son of a bitch. Steel tool parts. Is this searchable? No. All right. This is the way to go here. I'm going to skip the cobblestone cement. Got plenty of that stuff back at home. Where's the zombie in here? Yep. In the janitor's closet. Dead. Haven't woken anyone else up yet. Painkiller, I'll take that just because... The way I play blood bags, I guess, for now. But if we need space, I'll dump them. Three coins. Is it worth hanging on to? I guess. Paper, we're definitely good on. Let's pop this open. Ammo pile, nice. Oh, look at that. Holy shit. Level 4 AK. That is a nice grab right there. Some mega crushes. Always good. No coffee in the coffee pot. That's a shame. I could have used a cup of coffee. Wake up, big boy. Dead. Whoops. Woke up some more. Come on, into the spikes. There we go. Put these things to work. Oh, thanks for that, Kenny. Kenny's always holding a bag. I'll eat these pears now and take the rest of this stuff. And something I wanted to mention, I did mention it on Twitter, Instagram, and the community tab here on YouTube, but I figure I'll mention it in this video as well. For those of you, hey, stripper in the back. <laughs> With the mechanic, I guess. Scrap that lead, and I guess I'll take the cloth for now. Uh, for those of you wanting more Ark, it was just announced that Ark, the Lost Island, is releasing on December 14th, and I'm definitely going to be giving that a go here on the channel. So, you got to wait just a little bit longer, but I promise you, Ark is coming back. Scrap the wire tool. Don't need more than one of those. Take the forged iron. Scrap the nails. Good on both of those things. Uh, drink the yucca. Scrap the can. 
Miso soup? Sure. Nothing in there. Can't search the registers. Something over here. Or not. A little back office. Good on those feathers. Take that brass. Got a crate in the corner here. Ooh, some 762. Lock picks. Anything in this corner here? Duffel bag. Good on the flashlight. We just picked up some paper and plastic parts. I'll dump those in a minute. Level 2 steel shovel. That is better than my level 3 iron. I'm going to take that. I'm going to continue using the iron shovel for now, though. Not a big deal. We'll get that steel shovel repaired later. And we'll start making use of that thing. Alright, before we go up the stairs, let me close this door and check under the staircase. We got some trash and another hidden crate in the corner here. Take those lock picks. Let's get these boxes out of the way. Working stiff tools. Yes. Give me that crucible. Nah. Level 2 ratchet. Is that better than my level 6 wrench? It's not. I'm going to take it anyway, of course. I'm going to scrap the salmon. Take the ammo. Come on out, you fuckers. Bathroom's clear. Guess we want to fall back into the bathroom. Uh, let's do that. Oh, you made it through. Just me and you in here, buddy. That's not good for you. One-on-one -on -one is not the way you want to fight me. Yeah, down they go. Sometimes backing yourself into a room like that will work out for you. It just depends on the situation. Three easy-to-kill zombies, not a big deal. You back yourself into a corner like that with the bear or wolves or a lot of dogs, uh, radiated zombies, you might have a problem. Gunpowder. This is the way to go here. Shotgun shells. Nothing up there. Got to run across this area. Some of those plates give out. We're waking up the rooftop, zombies. Let's do it. Oh, down he goes. I feel like the... The spiked knuckles, they just stop the fucking zombies in their tracks. Bird. Dead. Let's harvest this guy. Everyone was telling me that you can just use the knuckles to harvest animals. They give you the same amount as a knife would. So I don't really need my knife. I brought it anyway. I don't know why. I'll probably just sell that thing now. No use for it, really. Wake up. Oh, shit. Got a couple more. All right. Boom. Dropped them. See? Stopped them right in his tracks. I mean, if I was running at someone and they punched me in the face with a corkscrew, I'd probably stop running at them also. Painkiller. And we are almost done here. We can move on and continue exploring this town. Main loot is right up on this rooftop. Oh, we got a little area in here, though, with a uh, secret stash. So let's go grab that thing. Come on. Purse. Nothing. The stash is right through here. The floor gives out. I think the whole floor gives out. Son of a bitch. Alright. Let's go back around. Uh, this way. Coffins. Ah, now we can harvest coffins for bones, jewelry, and precious gems. That's a good one. I have to go raid a, uh... Cemetery now. A thousand hit points. I'll just go this way. There we go. Yeah, now when we break apart coffins, there's a chance we can find... Come on. Uh, there's a chance we can find gold, silver, diamonds. Dog! Dead. And a crawler.
Motor tool parts. And that's it for this place. No crucible, unfortunately, but we got plenty of town left to explore. Oh, that hurt a little bit. So did that, but we didn't sprain a leg, so we're good to go. Actually, let's see if we can grab some gas here real quick. Nope. Out of order. Out of order. Nope. Out of order. Oh, good thing we stopped to check. Oh shit, look at that! The hospital! I hardly ever find the hospital in random gen worlds. So that is a nice find right there. Let's get it marked on the map. Might be a zombie chasing me. No? Alright. Uh, yeah, let's get this marked on the map. Definitely not something we can tackle right now. This is uh, an all-day raid. Plus, probably want something more than a pistol going in there. A shotgun would be better. So, that'll have to wait for another day, but at least we know it's here. Oh, what do we got right there? Is that the town hall building? Oh shit, that's another POI I never see in a random gen world. Man, I haven't been in this place in a long time. We gotta raid the town hall. I know we're looking for the crucible. But fuck that. Oh, look, the prison. That's ironic. We just ended lockdown. Town hall, baby. Man. That's fucking sweet. I love seeing POIs I haven't seen in a long time instead of the same old shit over and over again. The entrance to this place is around back. It's actually like, I guess there's like a police department here. Navisgain PD. Uh, let's check the trash first. Nothing. Nothing. Fuck it. Let's go. We might have a cop or two in here. Scrap the nails. Take the gunpowder. And it uh, seems pretty quiet. Initially, anyway. Let's close this door for now. This door is locked. Let's pop it open. Little storage closet. Ammo pile in the corner. Nice. Book we already read. I mean, you never know. You could certainly find a crucible in a building like this. Scrap the trophy, take the cash. Can, scrap. Corn seed, don't need it. And I'm good on the glass jars. Take the brass. Well, oh, forgot this file cabinet. There you go, banded armor, plate, schematic, more brass. Now yeah, we got some zombies. Fucking Kenny in the police department. It's like his home away from home. There you go, Kenny. You're free now. Take the armor parts. I already have overalls. And like I said, it's been a while since I've been in here, so... I don't remember much. Let's pop this open. Oh, look at this. Okay. More armor parts. Paper, I'm good. Let's keep it moving, then. Close that. Water. Oh, the interrogation room. I've uh, <clears throat> never been in one of these before. Look at a dead body just left in here. I wonder, can you break through this glass? Oh, you can. That's beautiful. Oh. Yeah, fucker. Oh, this is a good one. Bartering with a 44 gun drawn gives you a 5% better deal. And you know what? I never realized it said a 44 gun. It doesn't specifically say the Magnum. We got some ammo up there. So I guess... Ooh, triple storage pocket mod. How can we put that on? Um, here we go. So yeah, I guess you can use a Desert Eagle... And get that 5% deal. It doesn't necessarily have to be a Magnum. It just has to be a 44 gun. Got prison cells here. Dead bodies everywhere. That's good. We'll get some rotten flesh. Come on out of there. What are you stuck? I think he's stuck on this door here. 
There you go. Your sentence is up. I think Kenny. Kenny is trapped. Poor Kenny. You dead? Yep. Nothing. I don't see a way out of there for you, Kenny. You're just gonna have to keep beating on those bars. This is your Shawshank. You can do it. I believe in you. I guess I'll take those sewing kits in case I get a cut on my hand. I'll take that vitamin right now. So we don't get infected. And I'm good on those things. Nope. Yep. Yep. Alright. Moving on. We out of the police department yet? Maybe once we go up those stairs. I can't reach that duffel bag. There must be another way to get around to that thing. Purse. Nothing. All right. Let's go see if we can find the mayor's office. Nothing up there. Is this it right here? Or is this like a conference room? Looks more like a conference room. I gotta go let these motherfuckers know that I'm the mayor now. Block 9, the mayor. That's a series, isn't it? The mayor? We run town hall? It's just too many series. I too many series, not enough time. Holy shit. Yeah, fuck you. You die. Yes. Look at that. Um, I don't know where the other zombies are coming from. Nice little loot bag right there. Oh, is this the courtroom? It is. We gotta get up here. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, can I go around? Oh, there are steps right here. Weapons bag. Nice. Judge Glock 9. Reporting for duty or whatever they say. I couldn't be a judge. I'm not one to judge people. Done enough of my own fucked up shit. Who am I to fucking judge anyone else? There's a plug over here, though. Pop. What the hell? Oh, look at this. It's like a whole secret chamber. Ah, there's a secret stash right here. All right, spear parts. We'll sell them. Let's keep it moving. We go through here. Where do we go through here? Ammo. Lead. Nothing. Oh, this is definitely the way to go. So what was back through this doorway? Oh, nothing. All right. <laughs> Let's go this way then. Hey there. Nice. Gotta love the sneak damage. The DMV. Fuck that. What was over this way? Just a couple of bathrooms. Might be a zombie in that one. Vending machine doesn't work. This bathroom is clear. Certainly sounds like there's a zombie in the other one trying to beat its way out, though. Couple of them. Keep feeling like zombies are gonna run up from behind me. Oh, this leads into the DMV. Let's check the toilets for possible guns or knives that we can scrap. Um... Well, ammo pile right here. Another triple storage pocket mod. I don't think I got room for that one on anything currently. No. I can replace a double with the triple for now. Let's do that. Little corner office. Ammo pile. There's ammo everywhere in this building. Fireman's book. Craft a fireman helmet and take 5% less damage when wearing it. You know, I am remembering a series I did way back in, like, Alpha 16. Um, it was the first time I did Zombieland. And I believe we did 
hold down the town hall. That's where I lived. But the town hall was much different back then. It wasn't a dungeon style. Nice. Take the armor and the wrench. And uh, let's head up here now. This floor's all fucked up. Waking zombies up. Oh, you okay, buddy? Come on back up here. Hey, you. Look at me. Look at me. I'm the mayor now. Dead. Another little conference room. No books in the bookshelves, unfortunately. Nothing behind Ben. Nothing behind there. Stairs going up. Oh, here's the elevator shaft with a ladder going down. That must go down into the elevator shaft where that duffel bag was, right? Come on. Yep. Cat food. Good thing we came down here to check it out. You never know, right? Could have been the crucible. Okay, now. Um, nothing there. Oh, this must be the mayor's office, right? Scrap the can. I'm good on the electrical parts. Nothing in the ceiling. This is probably the mayor's office or the county clerk. Uh, automatic weapons have 20% less degradation. That's nice. Uh, I'll take the sewing kit, because we already have sewing kits in our inventory, and I guess we're going up those stairs. Uh, nothing down there. Unless we find a nicer office, I guess that would have been the mayor's office, the one we were just in. Yeah, because this seems like the attic or some shit. Storage, maybe? Oh, beating Kenny through the door. What a cheap kill. Come on, cheerleader. Come get some. Cheerleader in town hall. I mean, I agree with the seven days devs. There shouldn't be cheerleaders running around town hall. What the fuck's going on, you know? But after I had made uh, the last video where I talked about the cheerleader and the football player and the cowboy all being removed from the game, I had said, ah, oh, maybe they're just going to only put them in POIs that are specific to them. But according to the many people that reached out to me, that's not the truth. The truth is they are just being removed from the game completely, which is kind of upsetting. I mean, I want more variations of zombies, not less. There's still going to be a, a high school and there's still going to be a football stadium. How are we going to have a football stadium without football zombies? It's a shame, really. Got to knock this out of the way. That I'm good. You gotta watch out for birds. Guess we're going this way. Let's get a weapon out. Uh, all right. Holy shit! Wasn't expecting that. Damn, chill, motherfucker. He just wouldn't slow down. Okay, we are going back through here. There is a door we can get behind. Come on. Fuck you. They might have trouble with that hallway. With the slanted roof like that. Let's reload. Jesus. All right, she's dead. Yeah, they're taking their sweet time with that hallway. Here we go. He's still not dead. Bad of stamina. Fucking hell. <laughs> Radiated soldiers are not playing around. Anyway, that was the main stash. And we missed this file cabinet. Brass. Let's go get the main loot and uh, continue checking out this town. Uh, it's getting kind of late, so whoops. <laughs> that was a misfire. 
Um, it is getting kind of late, so I don't know how much more looting we can do here, but we definitely want to cruise around and see what else there is here. Nothing back there, and this is locked, so we're going to have to lockpick it. And this was a nice little loot run. Got a good amount of loot from this place, and it was enjoyable. I haven't been through the town hall in a while, so it was nice. Damn it. We got plenty of lockpicks. It shouldn't be a problem. Here we go. Bam. Nice. All right. Is there anything up there? I don't know. Is there a way to get up there other than pulling my way up? Probably not. I don't think so. Well, we're going to have to pull up there and check it out. Duffel bag. Nah, I'm good. All right. Let's go throw some stuff in the bike and see what else this town has to offer. Mm, let's not jump down there. Can probably jump down here without getting hurt. Hey, here's a cemetery. And we got that book that gets us possible precious gems from breaking apart a coffin. But this is not the good cemetery. This is the weird one. But you know what? This is a quick... An easy raid, so let's just do it. That nurse wasn't dead. Choppity chop, bitch. Now nah, she's dead. I don't need this golden rod tea. Anything in this one? Nope. All right, I'm not going to dig up any graves. Let's just grab the main stash out of this building here, and we're gone. So I say, pretty simple raid. There's one uh, coffin here. We can break this apart. Got some bones. No precious gems. Oh, shit. I didn't know there were more zombies in here. Thought the only two that were in here broke out. Okay. Now, grab the stash. And we'll continue checking out this town here. I mean, we're going to be back to this town either way to raid that hospital. I don't think we'll do it tomorrow, but probably the day after the horde. Because like I said, it's an all-day raid. So we don't want to be coming here the morning of a horde to raid the hospital and be rushing to try and get home in time for the horde. That's no good. So we'll, like I said, we'll probably do it the day after the horde. What do we got here? This looks like a place you might find a crucible. Oh! Who got me just then? You? Gotta call bullshit on that last hit. Took more damage in this little place than I did the whole fucking town hall. Ammo. Cloth. Can. Oh. Working stiff tools crate. Come on. Last crate of the episode. Give me the crucible. Ew, son of a bitch. I think that was the last crate. Is there one up here? Nope. All right. Weapons bag. Not bad. Let's get out of here, though. All right, I'm going to get all this inventory put away, and then I want to do a little bit of work to this area of the base here. I want to dig up the dirt, put down blocks, and then I want to knock out these iron blocks here. 
and replace them with rebar frames. So this is all reinforced concrete because this part of the base is holding up our pit base. It's not really holding up our pit base, but it adds additional support to our pit base. So I want to make sure that's as upgraded as possible. So like I said, let me put all this shit away. I'm going to do a little bit of work to that area of the base, and then I'll probably get down in the mine and do some work down there so I can make some more concrete. And we'll pick things up on the morning of day 25. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. It really does mean a lot. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Farmer Glock, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.